Welcome to the Radiant Life Podcast. I am your host, Tatiana Kuto, and I am a master mindset coach, and I'm obsessed with empowering you to live and create your best life possible. If you're looking to uplevel your mindset, life, happiness, and success, then you are in the right place. My goal with this podcast is to help you see the potential within yourself, to be able to break the limiting beliefs and habits that are holding you back, and to help you feel inspired to get clear with who you are in order to create the life you desire. Thank you so much for listening. Now let's get into today's episode. Hello, welcome to another episode on the Radiant Life Podcast. I felt really called to my heart today to speak and share a few things. Maybe you're listening and you're feeling really confused and lost of where you're going or you're really fearful because there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of unknowns. Or you just need to learn how to surrender and have more faith and fear. This is the episode for you. And I want to just be open with you guys. It's been over a month since I've been back from Costa Rica. Maybe a little bit more. I can't really do the math. And the when I got home, there was a lot of uncertainty and a lot of changes and a lot of transitioning that I'm going through. And with each day, I am using what I learned in Costa Rica, which my main concepts that I learned was to surrender, let go, slow down, and have faith. And I've been applying that to my life every single day since then. And I wanted to record this for you to remind you to do the same. Because faith and fear are the same thing except in opposite directions. And what I mean by that is with both of them, we feel because of uncertainties and because of the unknowns in our life, right? And we get to choose, keyword here, choose if we want to go with faith or with fear. Because with faith, we don't know if it's going to work out. We don't know if it's going to be the way we want. We have we literally have no idea, right? But we're choosing to have faith and know that it's going to work out that God, universe, angels, source has your back. With fear, the same thing. We don't know the we don't know what can the outcome. We don't know what can happen. We don't know what you know really what's on the other side of that unknown territory. But when we give into fear, we're giving into the worst case scenario. We're giving into that negative vibration. We're giving into that enemy, right? And faith and fear are both things that we tangibly cannot see but we have the power to choose which direction we want to go in. And I don't know who needs to hear this right now. If you have to make a decision, if you're feeling a lot of fear, well, I'm here to encourage you to choose faith. I've been going, mm -hmm. I've been going through a lot of changes and I guess this is the right time to open up why I feel really called to talk about this. I'm, when I came back, you know, I, I'm going through a breakup with my best friend a relationship of over five years and it was the hardest decision to make and in doing so there is a lot of uncertainty a lot of unknowns a lot of what ifs and a lot of fucking fear you know you have the thoughts of like am I making the right decision where am I gonna live what's gonna happen like x y and z of course they're gonna flood your brain whether you've been through a breakup or not whether you've made through Everyone's had a tough decision to make, right? Everyone has had to do something where like, I have no idea what's in store, but like, oh my God, I'm scared. And during these last few weeks and month, I've had to really lean in and learn the lessons and embody the lessons I learned in Costa Rica, which again was to surrender, let go, slow down and have faith. So if you're sitting here listening like tots, okay, fuck, how do I do that? Let's start with slowing down. Stop rushing and doing the hustle mentality and be intentional with your days. I was doing my morning routines. I was doing my meditations. I was going on my little walks, but I wasn't being intentional about it. And I wasn't giving myself the space to think, to feel and do it and just be. So slow down. Don't go on your phone first thing in the morning. Don't go on your phone after 8 p.m. at night and just give yourself space. One thing I've incorporated was going on long daily walks and it's been the biggest game changer for me. I give myself to think. I give myself to, you know, pray, speak, 
manifest, rampage, whatever it is I need to do, shift my vibration. But I give myself time for me. Let go. How do you let go? In order to let go, you must acknowledge what you're feeling and what you're thinking. And you must accept it and not judge it and feel it. Welcome it. Allow it to be there. And be like, okay, cool. I see you. You're here. I'm not going to push you away. I'm going to let you do it. Like, you know, stay as long as you need to. But not that, not that long, side note. And feel it. What I like to do is I like to breathe through it. Put my hand on my heart. I breathe it. And I say, okay, cool. This is how I'm feeling. I acknowledge it. When you're ready to move on, move on and let go of it. And I usually typically, you know, make the choice the next day to let go, to shake it off, do a meditation, do a priming, jump up and down, do a gratitude rampage, right? Shift it because at the end of the day, we get to choose our thoughts, our feelings. And of course, like if you're going through something heavy or if you're feeling a lot of fear, just remember you can choose faith and you can choose to surrender. So the last one is, is okay, cool. How do I surrender tots? Well, I want you to think back to a time when maybe you felt the same ways maybe you experienced like I have no idea what's going to happen where's the job going to come from where's the money going to come from where's this apartment where's xyz the, all these uncertain certainties right like all the fears you've had in the past and what happened it worked out for you didn't it it always does doesn't it isn't that right it always works out and when you can look yourself in the mirror and say, yeah, I'm scared right now, but I'm choosing to lean in to faith and surrender and knowing that God, angels, universe has my back. I'm choosing to focus on that. I'm choosing to believe in that because at the end of the day, everything is a choice. You can choose to believe that the worst case scenario is going to happen to you, that you're going to you know, have the absolute worst thing that no one's going to be there for you, that you're never going to overcome it. You can choose to believe in that, but what is that doing for you, right? It's not serving you. I chose every morning. I have an affirmation. It just says, I choose. I just need that reminder. I choose to have faith. I choose to surrender to God's plan. I choose to find the good in it. I choose to lean into these feelings of uncertainty and unknown and like, holy crap, what my life feels like it's being turned upside down, but I'm still choosing to take it one day at a time, one step at a time and having faith that God's got my back, letting it go, feeling the emotions and slowing down and giving myself time, right? So surrender. Maybe I'll make another episode on surrendering more. Surrender. Put your hands up. Put it up to the sky and be like, okay, I am not in control. I am not. We are not in control, you guys. We are just little flesh bodies here on some planet rotating who knows how fast in the Milky Way, right? Like we are not in control. <laughs> and when you can see yourself as that speck, as that little ant, you can choose to be like, okay, cool. I give, I give into the faith. I choose the faith. I choose to surrender and know that God, angels, universe is going to have a plan for me and it's all going to work out because it always has. So <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of came on here to share this message with you, something that I felt in my heart based on what I'm going through and, you know, honestly sharing what I'm going through right now. I haven't really announced that and um, it's going to be okay. I'm going to be okay and you're going to be okay. And it's all going to work out because it always does. So choose to have faith. Slow down for yourself. Give yourself time. Feel all the feelings. Become aware of the thoughts and the emotions. Let them be there, but then let them go. Surrender and choose to have faith every single day. Remind yourself of that. Write it down. It's going to be okay. Thank you guys so much for listening. We appreciate it. I know this is a little heartfelt little message. I hope Whoever needed to hear this, heard it today, heard it loud and clear that it's going to be okay and to have that faith. Thank you guys so much for listening and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with me and write an Apple iTunes review so I can keep the good stuff coming your way. 
If you aren't following me already, you can find me on Instagram at Tatiana underscore Kuto. I appreciate you so much and cannot wait to see you in the next episode. In the meantime, continue to shine bright and embrace your radiance. <laughs>